Lucas Media. So I want to touch a little bit on this. Last week, I saw people were talking about Bryce James and how he was uh, cooking at the Peach Jam. For those who don't know, that's Nike's biggest event down here. But he was averaging five points a game. Now, I've seen, I seen different media outlets talk about it, all the way even down to Skip them at uh, Undisputed. I'm going to be honest about Bryce. Some people are saying Bryce is already better than Bronny. He has the potential to be better than Bronny. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But what I'm seeing at the moment, I see that at this moment, at this stage, Bronny was better than Bryce. Bryce is taller. You know, I'll give you that. He's taller, but that's where I stop. I think Bronny is a he's a he's a better overall athlete. But I also feel like this is unfair for Bryce. Bryce didn't deserve any of this. Now he does have his father who is clearly one of the famous one of the greatest basketball players of all time and a lot of times we hope that Bryce is going to be that even when Bryce came out his freshman year I remember people saying man he's already better than Bronny he's already better than Bronny but Bryce was playing on the JV team and he was coming off the bench at Peach Jam and coming off the bench at his school I know he transferred around and they said he was averaging 5.5 points per game at the Peach Jam we don't know we don't know I mean Bryce does have a chance to to be something, but it might take some time. And I just wish that people would understand, man, they kids. He was 17. Let's let's check the what's wrong with going to college for a couple of years. We live in a society where it's like you got to rush thing. It's like you want to rush into being a one and done. And everybody's not like that. You never know. You know what? I mean, Bryce, things might even change in 365 days, but we put so much pressure on on these kids to be something now. You know, I'll be telling my son that and, and other people like, look, everybody peaks at different times. You want to peak in college versus high school or in the pros versus college. So we don't know. We don't, we don't know what Bryce is going to be. But I do think that he's going to get a D1 scholarship, as y'all can see. And uh, at least one of the images, he got a scholarship offer to Ohio State. I could definitely see him going back home for that. I mean, now B- LeBron and Bronny's going to be playing in L.A. together. But I could see Bryce going home to Ohio for sure. And paving his own path and playing, even though he may never be able to play in the, the league with his father, he could still play for his father's dream school, which was Ohio State University. But it's just things like this that make me realize, like, I hear people talk about Jeff and, and Marcus all the time, Michael Jordan kids. Could you imagine they grew up now with the way social media was? And social media was out then, but it was still more in this baby infant stage. Now, how everything's out 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If they went out there and averaged 15 points a game, oh man, they're not Michael Jordan, they're not Michael Jordan. So, let's just, let's just give Bryce some time, let him carve his own path, and see what he's going to be. I mean, he might be an NBA player, he may not, but he's definitely going to go D1 in college. And like I said, I could even see him excelling after year 2, year 3. Like, what was people thinking about Dame Lillard, man? Dame time when he was in college when nobody would talk about him but did what he went pro his senior year why like why can't we give people time like that some people it's gonna take three four years to make it and it's okay look at even michael jordan i remember seeing an interview back in the day with michael jordan saying that he wouldn't have came out of high school this is when i think this might have been the 2002 mcdonald's american class and he was like you know for some people he understand but somebody like me no, I needed to go to college. Michael Jordan came out at 21 years old. But now, nowadays, people make it seem like if you came out at 21 years old, you're terrible. Look at Dalton Connect. Dalton Connect over community college to the Lakers. And people are like, oh, man, he's 23. Okay, do it matter? He's NBA ready now. Like, what's wrong, what's wrong with that? You know, even the Boozer kids. You know, the Boozers, they coming out this, this year. Let them go to college and start struggling. People, oh, man, this over. Man, it's over for them. No, let's just give these kids some time. Things takes time. And with Bryce, we don't know until he finally gets there. But do y'all think that Bryce is better than Bronny? I just wanted, I'm just giving my opinion. Let me know if y'all agree, disagree. Am I tripping? And tell me what y'all think.